Welcome to my channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying callback functions in JavaScript. What are callback functions and how are they different from normal functions? Well, let's jump straight to my code editor as I explain that for you. Before explaining callback functions, let me give you a brief of how functions work in JavaScript. And when you declare a function, you can specify any type of argument that that function can accept. So for example, you can specify that the function should accept a string argument. And then here you can say console.log value dot to uppercase because to uppercase exists on strings and then here you can say do something and i'm just going to use my name dillion when i run no test you can see that in uppercase this is now dillion you can also make the function to accept a number as a data type so here i can say value times 10 and if i come here and i change this argument to maybe 20 and i come here and i run no test you can see 20 times 10 is 200. you can also make the value to be of an array data type so here i'm just going to say value dot length and then here i'm just going to pass an array with three values and when i come here i run no tests you can see this is three because the length of this array is three different types of values can be passed to functions and as well you can also pass a function as an argument so here when the value is a function i'm just going to evoke the function like this and then for this function here, I'm just going to pass this argument and this argument is just going to console.log hello. So I'm passing this function as an argument to the do something function. And when I come and I run no test, you can see that hello is logged because this function is passed as an argument to this and then this evokes the function. And this is what callback functions are. Callback function is a function that is passed as an argument to another function. So this function here that we have passed as an argument to the do something something function is a callback function. Callback functions are used for different things, but most importantly, they allow you to use another function to call a function. Here, we are using the do something function to call this function that we have passed here. Let me show you another example. So I have two functions here. The first function is the log function. And what this function simply does is that it just logs the value that is passed to it to the console. And then we have another function here, which is called calculate sum and this accepts three arguments it accepts num1 num2 and print for num1 and num2 you find the sum and then you pass the sum to the print function this print function is going to be a callback function now i can use this calculate sum like this so i can say calculate sum and then i can pass 10 as a num1 20 as a num2 and for the print callback function i can pass this log that we defined earlier if i come here and i run this file you can see that this is 30 because for this calculate sum it takes num1 and num2 which is 10 and 20 10 and 20 is 30 then it passed this sum as an argument to the callback function and since we have specified this callback function to be log here it's going to pass this sum to log and this will just be console.log sum so you can see that we have used this function to trigger this function now callback functions are used a lot in javascript for example in event listeners where you add an event listener the first argument is the event that you want to listen to that event can be maybe click then the second argument that is expected is a callback function the callback function is going to be triggered when this event is triggered you use callback functions a lot in javascript there are so many examples of their advanced use cases and simple use cases but what you should understand about callback functions is that they are simply functions that are passed as an argument to another function if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content like this.